Hello everyone and welcome back to Arcade Spirits. In the last part, Teo has opened up to us about some insecurities that he has about not being able to like see everyone and like talk to them even though he has- he's- ah he's like the, one of those people that like he's friends with like so many people and he feels bad whenever he can't talk to one of them or a few of them. So now we are giving him advice. If you want to see that previous part, or even start from the beginning, I have a playlist. If you want to play the game yourself, links are in the description. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm not sure if anyone is actually interested in like continuing watching these videos. So let me know if you want me to keep putting out Arcade Spirit videos. Leave a like. Thanks. Now I have to choose, and I didn't think about this in my time away. <laughs> I like, I like, let's hope for the best. You can't please everyone, Teo. Teo puts too much pressure on himself. With the amount of people he knows, it's physically impossible to see everyone. There is literally no way you can meet and hang out with every single person you know. If you had given 15 minutes time to the amount of people I've seen you say hello to, it would take you an entire day to get through them. We're going logic route. Hopefully this is the right way, but it just felt like that resonated more with the situation. Or Antonio. <laughs> you exaggerate. Teo, if there is one thing you can be sure of, it's that Antonio doesn't exaggerate. I only observe and state the obvious facts. Usually. It's tough only seeing the people you care about every once in a while, but you've been doing a great job. I've seen so many of your friends stop and say hello to you, plus they completely understood when you told them you were busy. Not one left without a smile on their face. They really care about you. You know what, Antonio? You're right. The more I hang out with Teo, the more I learn about him. It's always something new and something unexpected. And the more I get to know him... Oh wait, did I read that right? I feel like I didn't read that right. My brain is mush. And the more ah, and the more I want to get to know him. My bad. Let's bring this back around to why we're here. How did you get involved in the indie arcade scene anyway? Oh, is that how you say Michelle? Through Michelle, the indie developer I want you to meet. I met her a few years ago at a previous Max. I was hanging out with my crew near the dancing games and she stopped by to play around. Since she was new to the scene, I stuck up a I struck up a conversation with her. Much like when I met you. Ah, so there was plenty of flirting then. I cannot help myself when surrounded by such beautiful, wonderful people. Stop. <laughs> but you, Antonio, are by far the most incredible person to waltz into my life. I am a puddle. I just melted into the max show floor. <laughs> so please call life alert. I've fallen and I can't get up. <laughs> Must regain composure. And Michelle makes indie arcade games. She's only one of the coolest and most prolific arcade developers in the industry today. She's worked on several big name indie games, and when she's not working, she's speaking all over the world about arcade development. Color me impressed. Sounds like Michelle is a sort of influential person who could really help with Funplex Rising. She really is. <gasps> it's Alvarez. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, that is literally amazing. I'm what now, Mateo Alvarez? Alvarez. Alvarez. Oh, Michelle. Only the worst person I've ever met. As we expected from somebody of your caliber, <laughs> Touché. I was looking for you, by the way. Well, I'm glad I found you then. What's on your mind? I wanted to introduce you to Antonio. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. It took me a second, but Michelle looks totally lo Yeah, I was about to say. It took me a second, but Michelle totally looks like, uh... Uh-oh. You... Are perhaps also a federal agent? This is it. I'm doomed. It was a setup. I'm about to be re renditioned. Re renditioned? 
to a to a CIA black site. <laughs> Who me? No way. Although my sister, well, ah. I can neither confirm nor deny what she does for a living. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Gotcha. I'm gonna shut up now and focus on her kid stuff. I think what Antonio is trying to say is that you seem to have a very confident and authoritative expression. That's all. Yep, that's exactly what I meant. Got it on the nose. Thanks, Tao. Sure, okay, let's go with that. Anyway, I spoke with Tao earlier in the day, and he told me you had business prop you had a business proposition. Consider me all ears. Allow me to elaborate. Antonio here has recently appointed was recently appointed as the event manager for the Funplex. Congrats! That's a cute little ma. That's the cute little mom and pop place where Teo gets his groove on, right? I would categorize it as more like a grandma and grandpa kind of arcade. It's not the fanciest one out there, but it's got heart. I like an arcade with a good heart. It reminds me of my youth. The good old days, when you walk into your home away from home, quarter up and enjoy the company. But I digress, getting too swept up in memories. Tell me more about the proposal. Antonio is putting on a special event at the Funplex called Funplex Rising. It's a celebration of the arcade scene, if you will. Oh, I will. We're going to have high score competitions, esports stuff, mystery game reveals, the works. I'm going all out on it. And Teo, I take it you're doing a, a dance event as well. He is. But it'd be great if we could add one more thing to the list. Maybe the premiere of a new indie game? The gasp! Could you possibly mean my my game, Magical Moon Cuties? If you'll allow us the honors. Have I given you the elevator pitch yet? All I know is there are magical schoolgirls and I'm intrigued. Okay, it's a competitive cooperative cooperative puzzle game where people have to work together to match all the magical orbs before your before their opponents can. Think three player magical drop but with combo attacks. Everyone plays as a different adorable magical schoolgirl, hence the cuties part. That sounds better than the last time I heard it. Right? I'm pretty excited to share magical moon cuties to the world. I've mostly been doing some very selective demos for media outlets today. So far, the general public hasn't been allowed to play it. I'm looking for the perfect place and time to release it. Big publicity would mean I might land a manufacturing contract or a publisher, so I could do a right wide release. Funplex Rising might be a good choice for that, but I'm going to need a little more convincing. What else you got? Okay, Antonio, don't blow this. You're connected with Teo, it's all about the heart of the arcade, think of all the exposure you get. Ah, uh, let's go with kindness. Kill her with kindness. Michelle has mentioned earlier she likes an arcade that has heart and soul. I could appeal to that. You aren't going to find any arcade that has more spirit than the Funplex. Everyone who frequents there, employees and patrons alike, want nothing more for this event to succeed. This is our chance to show the world our dreams. We've been pouring all of our combined energy into making Funplex Rising victorious. Tayo, myself, and all the staff, all the gamers. With Magical Moon Cuties on our side, we can just bring even more heart to this affair. It's a perfect fit for the kind of friendly atmosphere we want, bringing people together. Boy, you got me right in the feels. Plus, I really want to play Magical Moon Cuties too. <laughs> Fair enough. I was just sassing you anyway. After I discussed it with Teo, I already knew I was going to show Magical Moon Cuties at the Funplex. Love the enthusiasm though. Really? Really. I mean, it's either the Funplex or Deco's Palace. And while Deco is the heavyweight champion of the arcade world, it's not a good fit for my dreams. Great, so it's settled? I think so. I know so. Magical Moon Cuties will have its first playable showing to the public at Funplex Rising. I'll hold my prototype cabinet over to your arcade the day before so you can get it set up. I'd appreciate you keep keeping it hidden until the event though. 
I already bought a mystery concealing tarp for our rare game release. Heck, what's one more mystery concealing tarp between friends? This will be an event to remember and I'm thrilled. I can't wait to share the news with everyone. Antonio, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh oh. But I should really be thanking you. Sorry to cut this convo off, but Michelle, your next interview is here. It's Mark from Hexagon. Mark, Hexagon, got it. Uh, it's so hard to keep track of all these different media outlets. Antonio, it's been great. My people will call your people or whatever they do these days. Oh, expect your social media to blow up later today. Ta-ta! And in a flash, Michelle wanders back into the crowd of people, her friends leading her into the next interview. Leaving me standing in shock, unable to believe what just happened. A top indie designer premiering at my event. I imagine the adorable smiling faces of anime magical schoolgirls. I could practically hear them cheering me on. I knew everything would be okay. This is my life? Huh? Oh, nothing. Just musing to myself. Out loud, nonetheless. <laughs> no worries. I do the I do that all the time. Mostly when I'm alone, though. Love it. But overall, that went really well. I'm glad that Michelle was really excited to bring her game to the Funplex. Me too. Honestly, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders. What with you helping me raise the hype with your flash dance mob? I feel like Funplex Rising is going to be amazing. That's the spirit. I never doubted you for a second. I was about to reply with a totally witty retort about doubting and time. However, we are interrupted by the sound of a bell chime. The hall will be closing in 30 minutes. It's over already? Ah, I was just getting started. I've barely seen anything yet. I could do this for at least... At least... Enough. Guy, <laughs> you fix your, your junk. <laughs> I keep getting tripped up by, like, extra words and stuff. I could do this for at least another four hours. I am, frightened, I am frightened and confused as to how you still have so much energy left, Teo. I amaze myself sometimes. As for me, I was exhausted, allowing yawns to escape my mouth. Well, I'm officially pooped and ready to go home. Before you go... Yeah, Teo? Hey, before you go, you, um... You wanna, <laughs> like... Maybe go get dinner with me? Sure. <laughs> I'm so excited. Huh? Is this really happening? Am I seeing the smooth talking witty Teo actually have a loss for words? His face flushed and his consonants stuttered. Holy crap, Teo is actually nervous. Although now that I think about it, I am too. I've got some massive butterflies swarming in my belly. I mean, it's been such a long day and I haven't seen you eat anything. And you know, I'm really hungry, so I figured I'd extend <laughs> the invitation. No one likes eating alone, right? Yep. I realized I was staring at Teo wide-eyed and I hadn't really responded yet. I was letting him babble on, trying desperately to keep his composure. I really should say something, but I also... But I... <laughs> <laughs> but I should also be very clear about my intentions. Sure, what's friends for? Let's grab chow or... It's a date then. It's a date then! <laughs> Only if we can call it a date. How about it? I can't believe it. I've got to tease him a little more. It's only fair since he's flirted with me so many times. So, uh, I mean... Uh... If you, uh... I give him my most flirty wink, doubled with a sassy smile. Okay, there's teasing and there's cruelty. I let him off the hook. Relax. Yes, let's go grab some grub. I'd love to share the meal with you, Teo. Thank you. Teo relaxes when I declare my intention simply and with a bit of whimsy. All right. Well, consider it a date then. How about the food court here at the convention center? You know, that one about 50 feet over yonder smells of fried oil and ridiculously overpriced food. You sold me on the fried oil smell. Haha, <laughs> haha, I can't do laughs, great! <laughs> I got a hankering for some fries. Me 
Me too. Oh, look at our, po our flyer. Oh, jeez. Tara and I continue our conversation as we walk over to the closest food vendor, tucked away within one of the many expo halls. Starving, we each order the biggest serving of fries. And when we both sat down to enjoy our fried potato del delicacies, we instantly realized that one order would have been sufficient to feed us both. We both laughed happily at our mountain of fries. It's a fry folly. There is no way we can finish this all. Theo, if we set our hearts and stomachs to the task, we can conquer them all. Together with you, we can conquer anything. anything. We can conquer anything. We came damn close to finishing our food. But in the end, the tasty potatoes reign supreme. With our hands rested on our bellies and groans leaving our lips, we way we waddled away from the table we shared. Hey, thanks for spending the whole day with me. You know, I had a ton of fun. You know what? I did too. Maybe we'll do it again sometime? I'd be up for that. Call me whenever you like. I lean over and give Teo a quick hug. He stands still, somewhat stunned by the whole situation. I turn away before he can catch my cheeks blush. Okay. All in all? A successful day. Beep beep. Antonio, you have no you have a new text message. Operation Hot Dog Takedown. Mission complete. Asset extracted and headed home for a leisurely bath and some anime. Huh? She hacked the video signs and snuck away. Good work! Look at the screens! Our flyer's airing there now. Ah, our flyer's airing there now. Wow, I didn't know Ashley was a hacker. Maybe we should swap tips. I'd like the fun plugs to com commit fewer felonies rather than more iris. Ah, uh, okay. Right, time to head home. I promised I would meet Juniper just outside the main exit of the hall, and that's exactly where I was headed. The rush of fresh air hit me as I pushed the double glass doors open. It was nice, refreshing, and had a much better smell than the one I had been around all day. I didn't have to wait long until I saw Juniper. She bounced happily up to me. So, how was your first max, Antonio? It was... Fantastic, exhausting, unfor unforgettable. How is our basically stats? I don't even know. <laughs> unforgettable. One thing is for sure, I'll never forget what happened today. I made so many memories, some good, some less than good. All burned deep inside my medial temporal lobe. Did I read that right? I don't know. I'll never fail to remember this day. As to be expected with a convention. Although in your case, you really outdid yourself and got smacked with 300% of what everyone else would have, yeah? How do you figure? Well, most people drop by Max, play some games, maybe attend a panel or two, do some shopping. They're here to be catered to. You, on the other hand, were doing the catering. And like any good caterer, that means spinning plates and doing 12 different things at once. You found interesting ways to push Funplex Rising and promote the Funplex as a whole. You worked your butt off to do it. So rather than attending Max, you were Max. Sure feels that way. I'm totally drained. Ooh. I kinda envy you, you know? It sounds like you had some great adventures today. Other than designing that flyer... I didn't do that much beyond playing a few games and buying cute t-shirts and stuff. But let me tell you, they are really super cute shirts. I'm glad I could support you, though, even if it's just, you know, by doodling up a flyer. It's hardly a doodle, you did great work designing it, or trust me, you're better off not being a caterer. Caterer, it was rough. It's hardly a doodle, you did great work designing it. Hey, don't sell yourself short! That flyer looked super professional. I mean, no fun comic sans, but still pretty cool. Thank you! Thanks, Antonio. I really enjoyed doing stuff like that. I don't exactly get a lot of opportunities at the office to express myself. Okay, let's get home and get some real rest. We're, we both earned it. In fact, I say we took it... Juniper, don't. To the max! Ugh. 
I don't know what my laughings are. What are my laughings? I don't know. I'm bad. After that moment, the rest of the evening was a blur. I knew that Juniper and I took the train back home, heated up some pizza bagels, and I safely made it into my comfy bed. I think I was still in shock. At the beginning of this day, I thought that no one was going to know about Funplex Rising. We'd be stuck as a relatively unknown mom and pop arcade. But now, it seems like the whole world knows. Which is great, but also pretty nerve-wracking. I sighed heavily, letting all my mixed emotions flow over me. There is no turning back now. What I said in motion will stay in motion. It can only get bigger and better from here. At least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself as I drift to sleep. I'm proud of what I accomplished today. And I can't wait to tell everyone at the Funplex about all I've done. I hope they are proud of me too. And before I know it, Funplex Rising will be upon us. You've cleared level 3 of Arcade Spirits. A winner is you. Now let's see your score. Ooh. Teo definitely taken a liking to you. Dance Fever. You're proving to be gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Also, you've scored 10,700 points. Go for the high score. Actually, I don't know what the high score is, but hey, go for it anyway. Do you want to save your game before proceeding to level 4? Well, I guess we'll end it here, folks. Thank you for joining me. I know like some of these episodes are getting shorter and shorter, but it's because I'm trying to do shorter episodes slash parts. I hope that's okay. But especially for this game, I feel like it drains so much of my stamina just because I'm reading so much versus The Divine Speaker, where a lot of the dialogue was voice acted and I just had to do narration. If you're interested in playing Arcade Spirits, I have links in the description. If you want to start from the beginning of the LP, I have a playlist. If you don't want to miss the next video, subscribe, turn on notifications. If you like this part, leave a like. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye! And thank you to this month's patrons. If you're interested in becoming a patron, I have a link in the description. Hopefully I'll see you there.